Well, uh, when Buddy first came to Chicago, I remember quite well, the same club, the 708 Club. I had been hearing his name, Buddy Guy, he just, this new guy from Mississippi, he just came up. And sure enough, I passed by the uh, 708 and they had in the window an advertisement, what they, the window where they had all the advertisement, they had it. This weekend, if you like B.B. King, come and see Buddy Guy He's at the 708 this weekend. And I went to see him, and boy, I was, I was not disappointed. <laughs> he put on one hell of a show. And uh, he was, and I, I, I got to know him real well. Because we played, well, as a matter of fact, my first European tour, I did it with Buddy Guy, Junior Wells, that's when they were uh, traveling partners together, they were toured together. Buddy Guy and Junior Wells, and uh, he was someone, and Jimmy Johnson, and Oldie, well, Oldie Payne was playing drums, and uh, Voice Oldham, another singer, he passed away, name Voice Oldham. We were all on tour together with Europe for 21 days, my first tour of Europe, and, and uh, I got to know him real well because we had such a good time on the tour, Buddy and Junior kept me laughing. <laughs> Buddy would always really like to tease Junior. <laughs> Junior would look at him and say, you want to leave me alone. <laughs> and uh, we got along really well. But, uh, so I've known Buddy for a lot of years, and he's one fantastic musician. And uh, just an all around businessman and musician. He, he's one of the guys that. He knows how to separate business from from pleasure and entertainment because because show business is more than one thing. It's more than just playing on stage. If you're going to be successful, you have to be able to understand what goes along with the entertainment side of it because that's business underneath, like with the publishing company and the whole bit for your recordings. It's very, very, very important that you know what what your rights are. Like uh, that's why so many musicians lost what they worked so hard to create and build, and they did. They was not able to capitalize on it because they had no knowledge of uh, how to start a publishing company and publish, write and publish your own songs. So you get the credit if it ever become anything. Just like, say, Robert Johnson, he, he wrote, say, uh, Sweet Home Chicago. But at that time, he, had no, he didn't have much knowledge of how to protect himself with the Library of Congress with the publishing right to his songs. He just had ideas in his head. He knew how to play it and sing it. And there was a lot of people like that. Just for instance, Jimmy Reed, he was a guy that had tons of songs and stuff and ideas. But they didn't know how to protect themselves and I tell you who taught me about the business side of it. God rest his soul, Mr. Willie Dixon. He always talked with a big voice. Let me tell you something, Clearwater. If you're going to be in this business, you have to know how to protect yourself. He said, don't, don't just go and sing other people's songs and because you're not going to get any, any compensation from it. Write your own songs. And when you play them, and when other people play them, other people record them, then you will you have a chance to get something from it because your name is there as the writer of the song. So that makes a difference. So I, I, he told me a lot of good things about that, and I, I really followed this. That's, that's how I started my company, my publishing company, the Clitone. I told I told his daughter this a few weeks ago. Was at at Blues Heaven. So I said, your dad taught me is it a business. <laughs> she said, he did? I said, yeah, he taught me how to protect myself with the publisher and the writers. <laughs> and it pays off. You get checks from it. And all you have to do is, if you get a little money and save it, it can add up. That's how big money become big money. Because if you save the little money, don't worry about the big money. <laughs> it will accumulate itself. <laughs> so that's, that's the business side of it.